Joe Rogan has recently raised a terrifying question about what's really been happening at CERN. The Large Hadron Collider has long been at the forefront of remarkable scientific discoveries about the universe. But recently, a disturbing ripple has emerged from these undergrooned experiments. On his podcast, Joe Rogan raised a critical question about these experiments. What secrets lie hidden in the Large Hadron Collider's high-energy coalitions? And could they be more than what we bargained for? What does the Mandela effect have to do with this? Join us as we confront the possible dangers in the heart of CERN's groundbreaking endeavors. CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, is a cornerstone of the global scientific community dedicated to understanding the universe's fundamental structure. Situated near Geneva, straddling the border of Switzerland and France, CERN is renowned for its groundbreaking work in particle physics. Since its establishment in 1954, CERN has been at the forefront of research into the smallest building blocks of matter and the forces that bind them. However, recent experiments conducted there, as uncovered by Joe Rogan, have both baffled and alarmed everyone. CERN's breakthrough in discovering the Higgs boson, often referred to as the God particle, marked a monumental moment in the field of physics. This particle was theorized in 1964 by physicist Peter Higgs, among others, but remained unobserved for decades. The Higgs boson is integral to the standard model of particle physics because it is associated with the Higgs field, an energy field believed to exist throughout the universe. This you think we are going to talk about the giant machines, construction vehicles, ships, or cranes we are always used to? Life as we know it. The functionality of the Large Hadron Collider is a marvel of modern science and engineering. It consists of a ring of superconducting magnets with several accelerating structures to boost the energy of the particles along the way. Inside the LHC, Two high-energy particle beams travel at close to the speed of light before they are made to collide. These beams travel in separate, adjacent tubes and are kept on their path using powerful magnetic fields generated by superconducting electromagnets. These magnets are supercooled to a temperature colder than outer space, making them superconductive. The collider can generate collisions of protons at an energy of 13 tera electron volts, which has never been achieved in any other particle accelerator. Each proton collision provides scientists with a burst of new particles to study. This process mimics the conditions that existed a fraction of a second after the Big Bang, allowing researchers to look deeper into the universe's fundamental building blocks. The detectors around the collision points are important in capturing and recording the results of these particle collisions. These detectors are made up of layers of complex technology that track and identify the many particles produced in the collisions. Each layer is designed to stop, track, or energy measure different types of particles. Physicists then analyze the data collected from these detectors to study a range of phenomena, including the properties of the Higgs boson. Operating the Large Hadron Collider and analyzing its data requires a collaborative effort from thousands of physicists, engineers, and technicians worldwide. The sheer volume of data produced by the Large Hadron Collider is staggering. The CERN data center processes about one petabyte or one million gigabytes of data daily from the Large Hadron Collider's experiments. Furthermore, the LHC operates in cycles, with periods of operation followed by long shutdowns for maintenance, upgrades, and improvements. These shutdowns allow for enhancements that increase the collider's luminosity thus providing higher collision rates and more data for experiments. The Higgs boson's observation confirmed that the Higgs field permeates space, providing the mechanism by which particles acquire mass. This finding was pivotal because it filled a significant gap in the standard model, which describes the fundamental forces and particles in the universe. The discovery also opened up new avenues for research in particle physics including questions about the fundamental nature of the universe and the conditions immediately following the Big Bang. Beyond the groundbreaking discovery of the Higgs boson, CERN's contributions extend into various scientific 
and practical domains. One significant achievement is the development of the World Wide Web by Sir Tim Berners-Lee in 1989, initially conceived to meet the demand for information sharing among physicists in universities and institutes worldwide. This invention revolutionized how information is shared and accessed, fundamentally changing the communication and information technology landscape. In the field of medicine, many technologies have been developed at CERN. The advancements in particle acceleration and detection have been instrumental in the evolution of positron emission tomography scans, a critical tool in medical diagnostics. These scans rely on detecting particles emitted by a radio tracer, which can be used to build detailed images of the human body, aiding in diagnosing and treating diseases, including cancer. CERN's expertise in handling large data volumes has also spurred computing and data analysis advancements. The data processing techniques developed to handle the vast amount of data generated by particle collisions in the LHC have found applications in various industries from aerospace to finance, improving data handling and analysis capabilities. Furthermore, CERN's advancements in superconducting technology are vital for the development of magnetic resonance imaging machines, offering more detailed images for medical diagnoses without radiation exposure. The development of superconducting magnets, essential for guiding particle beams in the Large Hadron Collider, has led to more efficient and powerful magnets for magnetic resonance imaging machines. CERN's experiments have also contributed to understanding antimatter, leading to advancements in research and potential energy and material science applications. The antiproton decelerator, for example, allows scientists to study antimatter particles with high precision, opening up new avenues for understanding the fundamental asymmetry between matter and antimatter in the universe. The experiments conducted at CERN are undoubtedly crucial for humanity's understanding of the universe. Watching this video was like multiverse shit, like Listen. shit about multiverses, and it's got me fucked up, Joe. I hear you. <laughs> I'm fucked Into this universe. In an episode on his podcast, Joe Rogan discussed the mysteries and controversies surrounding CERN and the Large Hadron Collider and expressed concern about CERN's groundbreaking pursuits in particle physics. Rogan's biggest concern centered around the fear and speculation surrounding the Large Hadron Collider, particularly the theoretical possibility of creating black holes or other catastrophic events. While not supported by scientific evidence, these concerns capture a common anxiety about venturing into uncharted scientific territories. The notion that experiments at CERN could inadvertently trigger dangerous, unforeseen phenomena reflects a deep-seated apprehension about the power and reach of human technology. But do these concerns hold any evidence? At the heart of CERN's research, particularly in the workings of the Large Hadron Collider, lies the very complicated world of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is a fundamental physics theory that describes nature's physical properties at the scale of atoms and subatomic particles. It is the foundation upon which CERN's experiments, such as those conducted in the Large Hadron Collider, are based. This theory differs from classical physics in that it introduces concepts like superposition and entanglement, where particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously and be intimately linked despite being far apart. One of the most intriguing and controversial interpretations of quantum mechanics is the many worlds theory. This interpretation suggests that there are potentially an infinite number of universes that exist parallel to our own. Each universe represents a different outcome of every action, decision, and event. In the context of CERN's experiments, where particles are smashed together at high energies, the Many Worlds theory posits that the outcomes of these collisions could branch off into separate, coexisting realities. In these parallel universes, every possibility is realized. For instance, in one universe, a particular experiment at CERN might lead to one outcome, while in another universe, it might lead to a completely different result. This concept aligns with the quantum mechanical principle that particles exist in a superposition state, 
embodying multiple potential forms simultaneously until observed or measured. The implications of the many worlds theory for CERN's experiments are vast and largely theoretical. If true, the high energy particle collisions in the Large Hadron Collider reveal fundamental aspects of our universe and also interact with these parallel universes. This interact the Large Hadron Collider is the world's most powerful particle accelerator. This magnificent machine, located in Geneva, Switzerland. The Large Hadron Collider is a massive ring-shaped tunnel that is 27 km offers a unique perspective on causality and decision-making. In a universe where every possible outcome is realized in some parallel world, the notion of choice and consequence takes on a new dimension. Another central puzzle in quantum mechanics, and consequently in the experiments conducted at CERN, is the measurement problem. This problem arises from the principle that the properties of particles are not definite until they are measured. Before measurement, particles like electrons exist in a superposition state, meaning they can be in multiple states simultaneously. However, they appear to choose a specific state once observed or measured. This quantum quirk presents a challenge in understanding the true nature of what is happening in experiments like those in the Large Hadron Collider. When particles collide at high speeds, what we observe might be just one of many possible outcomes, raising questions about the nature of reality and our ability to comprehend it fully. Quantum mechanics and the many worlds theory are both critical in understanding the recent discussion by Joe Rogan about what's really happening in CERN's recent experiments. With this understanding of parallel universes, could it be possible that, as Rogan says, the scientists at CERN have accidentally created a pathway to a parallel universe? Another important scientific figure who is furthering this discussion is Max Laughlin. He is a fascinating figure in theoretical physics, particularly for his unconventional ideas about CERN's experiments. Recognized as a prodigy in the scientific community, Laughlin gained attention for his sharp intellect and ability to grasp complex scientific concepts at a young age. His interest in physics and a knack for understanding advanced theories propelled him into the spotlight as someone with intriguing the cosmic rays that naturally hit the Earth with greater energy than those produced by the Large Hadron Collider have not caused any harm further reinforcing the Collider's safety. Despite the lack of scientific consensus on this issue, important public figures like Joe Rogan and Max Laughlin have brought the discussion to the forefront, whose critical discussions about these experiments have put everyone on high alert. While what exactly will come out of these strange experiments occurring at CERN is yet to be seen, the world is now watching CERN and the Large Hadron Collider much more closely. Thanks for exploring with us on Beyond Discovery. If you enjoyed these revelations, click now on the next video that pops up on your screen. It's unbelievable 